everybody, welcome to Albuquerque, New Mexico, home of your University of New Mexico Lobos. Tonight's game, we got the 6-5-1 New Mexico Lobos and the 8-1-1 UTEP Miners. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to the Lobo Hockey Network. You guys are in for such a treat tonight as the UTEP Miners make their way up to Albuquerque and face your University of New Mexico Lobos. These two teams squared off about two weeks ago down in El Paso. It was the Miners who got the weekend sweep with a 7-5 and 11-3 victory over New Mexico. going to be Nathan Russell going to be the goaltender for New Mexico. It's good to see the Lobos back here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where they're getting ready to face off against these miners. The UTEP Miners, who are a Division II squad, looking to make a challenge for the Lobos tonight. And the Lobos looking forward to being back at home. They were gone on the road the last two weekends. So they're back in Albuquerque tonight. So they look forward to playing the UTEP Miners here. Again, thank you guys for joining us here at the Outpost. We want to make sure that you guys enjoy the broadcast. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, just let us know. We'll be happy to answer your questions here as well. You can get us on our live chat. We want to have a competition here. Let's see whose fans can get louder. Is it New Mexico or is it the UTEP Miners? All righty, guys. Who's going to win this? Let's see those fans get loud. Lobo fans, where are you at? Miner fans, where are you at? Puck job is just about three minutes away. Talking to Coach Grant before the game, he said the guys got to get physical if they want to stay in this game. The Lobos know it as well as these UTIP kids are bigger guys according to the Lobo size. So Grant said the one thing we need to do is be physical against the UTIP Miners. That's where they took advantage of the play last down in El Paso. Nick Tagligami being the captain of this team talked to me before the game and he said, you know, Josh, we just got to make sure that we just play smart Lobo hockey, keep out of the penalty box and we'll be just fine. Also, the one thing the Lobos have struggled with as of late is the power play opportunities. Last time the Lobos were here at home, even against a Texas Tech squad, they struggled on the power plays, having many opportunities. So bear with us here just for a moment. We are about two minutes away from puck drop. We're going to get everything all situated. Again, bear with us, guys. New production crew in here. We're going to do the best we can to bring you this live game. But bear with us. We're going to be on the break for about two minutes, so don't go anywhere. You're going to be watching Lobo Hockey here in just a minute as we will get the public service announcer, and he will give you the starting lineups and the national anthem. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Lobo Hockey right here on the Lobo Hockey Network.
All righty, Lobo Hockey fans, we are just moments away from Puck Drop here at the Outpost Arena. Pretty soon I'll be handing it over to Miles, the public service announcer, as he will give you the starting lineups for both squads, and then we will have the playing of the National Anthem. We want to thank all the groups out in attendance today, especially the Air Force Sergeants Association here in Albuquerque. Welcome to the Outpost. We want to thank you guys for all your service and appreciation. As you know, it is Salute to Service Month for all sports. All right, we're going to send it over to Miles. Alrighty, Lobo Hockey fans, buckle your seatbelts as we got an exciting one for you tonight. It's the University of New Mexico Lobos and the UTEP Miners. We want to welcome you guys, those who are just joining in. Welcome to another production of the Lobo Hockey Network brought to you by the ABQ Sports Crew. Let's see how excited you guys are. Come on, fans, get loud for your team. Let's see it. I've seen a couple of Lobos and a couple of Miners. It needs to get louder on this feed. Come on, support your team. Let's see where you are at. Lobos excited about this one to be back home to face the Miners. Definitely a challenge as the Miners are one of the best in the Texas League at a record of 8-1-1. One, and one. On the ice for New Mexico, it looks like it will be Graham Chison, Jack Kelly, Nate Tagliagami, Ben Hopp, and number 41, Tyler Lavette, will get in the puck drop for New Mexico here in just a minute. Nate Tagliagami will take the face off. Number seven, Carlo Witter will get the face off for the Miners. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, face off underway. And it's won by New Mexico. Love it. Sends it over to Hopp. Hop trying to create something with it. The Miners were waiting for it, and they dump it inside the Lobo zone. Miners now, top of the blue line shot. Deflected off Jack Kelly, 
and rebounded by New Mexico. New Mexico working on getting it out of their zone. Lobos do a good job of clearing it out. UTEP will wait for it. UTEP now has the puck at center ice. The Miners now inside the Lobo zone. On the right wing, shot taken goes wide of the net, rebounded by the Miners. Miners taking a big hit by Graham Chison, and the Lobos doing a nice job of clearing the puck. Bad pass by Chison, and the Miners get the puck, and they'll dump it right back inside the Lobo zone where Chris Owens will play it. Mackenzie Smith trying to send it up over to Chant Shanks, and unfortunately just wasn't there. No icing calls. The Miners recover the puck. Miners now have a great opportunity, and it's a bad pass as the puck was sent in front of a minor player for a great power or for the breakaway opportunity. Just couldn't handle it, and it gets covered up by Nathan Russell. 18:58 left to go here in the first period. Still scoreless. Face off in the New Mexico zone. One by New Mexico as Chant Shanks will play it for the Lobos. Still fighting for puck possession as it goes back and forth. Miners recover and they'll dump it right back into the Lobos zone. Mackenzie Smith gets pushed down. Lobos recover the puck. Here they come, Chant Shanks now. Trying to set something up. Sends it up to Jared Ronquillo. And the puck gets sent, dumped into the Lobo zone. Still fighting for puck possession now. New Mexico has it. Bad pass by the Lobos. Jared Ronquillo will try to hunt it down as he does. Great stick move for the Lobos. Jared Ronquillo has it behind the minor net. Still fighting for puck possession now. I love it, has it for New Mexico. This is a fast paced team, a lot faster than the Lobos have played since they last played the Miners as the Miners have quick speed and the Lobos will have to make sure that they can keep up with the intensity that the Miners are bringing tonight. So with 17.49 left to go in the first period, Nate Tagligami will take the face off for the Lobos in the UTEP zone. Won by the Miners and they'll clear it out. Miners now have the puck. They take it inside the Lobos zone, left wing board. Oh, great opportunity for the Miners right in front of the net, just couldn't handle it. And it's rebounded by the Miners. Miners try to send the puck and they clear it out. And we have an out of play call and we'll have a face off inside the Lobos zone. 17.32 left to go in the first period. Just outside the Lobo zone here, and the Lobos win the faceoff. Tyler Lovett having the puck. Sends it up to Ben Hop. Hop trying to send it with a Chison, and it's taken away by the Miners. Miners now have the puck inside the Lobo zone on the right wing. Top of the blue line. Shot taken just above Nathan Russell's head, and it's rebounded by the Miners. Miners have a bad pass and it gets cleared out. Miners now have the puck at center ice. Still trying to take it inside the Lobo zone as they do. Love it. We'll play it for New Mexico. He gets hit up against the boards behind his own net. Still fighting for the puck is now Chison now has it. And he sends it over to Nate Tagligami. Up to Jack Kelly. Kelly with the great opportunity on the left wing. Try to center it to Nate Tagligami and a UTEP defender was waiting for it right there. Back and forth with the puck, a lot of physical play, a lot of speed for both teams. Miners now have the puck inside the Lobo zone. On left wing, trying to go behind the net. Center shot, and it gets deflected away and cleared out by New Mexico. 16.30 left to go in the first period, still scoreless. Miners with the puck. They'll have it at center ice. They take it inside the Lobo zone. Chris Owens plays the puck for New Mexico. And now gets into Fernando Huerta. Here comes A.J. Goff. Goff doing a great job handling the puck. Dumps it behind the UTEP zone. Chergi trying to have the puck for New Mexico. Gets taken away by the Miners. Here comes the Miners. They'll have the puck at center ice. And they dump it inside the Lobo zone. Mackenzie Smith with the puck for the Lobos. Sends it up to Fernando Huerta. Huerta, great pass over to Chergi. And Chergi will dump it inside the Miners zone.
Miners now have the puck. They'll take it up. Oh, deflected off a helmet of a miner as it was getting cleared out. Recovered by New Mexico. Here comes Jared Ronquillo. And now in the broadcast booth with me, Mr. Adam Nish. Adam, it's good to see you here tonight in the broadcast booth. Man, it's not easy getting all that, uh, the computer back, the kind of the back office stuff set up. It's not perfect, it's not glamorous. I mean, Julian Chavez did a phenomenal job. He's actually out, so we're trying to do make do with what we have. Have Jennifer Nish up in the box right now, and she's doing a great job getting it rolling. Um, so now I'll, uh, I'll bless you all with my voice down here. Ah, darn. No, it's good to have you, Adam. And the face-off won by New Mexico's Ben Hopp, and he'll dump it inside the UTEP zone. All right, and this is going to be a full little matchup tonight as the UTEP Miners are a very solid hockey team as a whole. All right, so looks like UTEP's going to take a shot that goes wide left. It's going to move around the left-hand side. Back up top, it's going to be in the right-hand corner. Utah holds on to the puck, able to keep it in the low zone. Wide left of the net and back into the right corner. Bear with us here, we're figuring out the sound for Adam. Lobo is fighting for possession on the right wing and they're able to steal the wing. And Lobos take it away. They move in to UTEP territory, back into the right wing board, stolen away by UTEP Miner. And cleared out of the UTEP zone. A Lobo there to pick it up. That's Mackenzie Smith sending it up to Nate Tagliagami. Tagliagami with the puck in his own territory. He's going to move around the left wing. Sends it up top. Good pass there, able to sneak it through. He's going to try to send it up to Nate Tagliagami. Can't hold on to it, but Mackenzie Smith there to deflect. Back behind the UTEP net. And here come the Lobos holding on to uh, possession of the puck. Thought about centering it, but Mackenzie Smith holds on. Sends it up and almost a night tap in. Back behind the net. Good stick play there. Mackenzie Smith recovers it. Put up against the boards. UTEP steals the puck away. But gets plastered up against the wall. Puck out of center ice. UTEP advances. And put against the wall. Big hit by the Lobos. Back out to center ice. Team captain Nate Tagliagami has the puck, sends it up, and skirts towards the goalie, and the goalie able to cover it up and freezes the puck. And it's already getting physical out here. You got it. Check, check. Can everybody hear everything clear? Okay, we're good. <laughs> good. To, there we go. Now we got the mics working, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Hey, you give us a break, everybody. We, <laughs> it, it took us like four days to learn everything. Uh, we're, we're trying to figure this stuff out for our first time. So, uh, hey, at least there's a stream. If you can't hear our voice, the worst things have happened. <laughs> 13, 19 left to go, and the first period is still scoreless. And it's along the right wing boards. UTEP holds on to possession. They're going to move up towards center ice and able to hold on to it, number seven, as he moves along the right. Good stick play and tries to sink towards the goal, and they go straight into the goalie. Boshian hits the ice. So face-off well be in UTEP territory. Face-off won by the Lobos. Lobos get it smacked away. Good defensive play by the Miners. Nate Tagliagami recovers. In his own territory, looking to advance. Number 19 right in his face. Tyson holds onto the puck, passes it back to Mackenzie Smith. Mackenzie Smith along the left wing boards. Back around the back of the net. Heads over to the left wing boards. Tyson with the puck, looking to set something up. Sends it up top, and it is frozen by the goalie.
Check, check, check. Ha! Ah, I think I got it. I think we're good now, Adam. Yeah, I'm right, back. We'll you know go. you miss me. Hey, let us know in those comments if uh, the audio's fixed. It's a little bit of computer science, though, but we're going to get there. We're going to hash our way through tonight. As long <laughs> as the stream's up, we're good to go. Face-off will be in Utah territory. 12-24 left to go in the first period. Still scoreless. Adam. Yes, there we go. We got us both back got now. Us both. All right. Hi, Jackie. Good to see you on the, the chat. Hey, guys, again, uh, we, uh, we're trying to figure out all of this tonight on the fly, so bear with us. Um, puck is frozen by UTEP. Josh, it's good to be back down here. Thank you for Jennifer up in the box, up in the booth. There's a whole lot more to this streaming than, <laughs> than just plug and play. Let's, let's just say that me and Adam, anybody that wants to buy us a drink after tonight, we, we will. Need we, need we need it. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to be back here broadcasting the Lobo hockey team with 12 16 left to go in the first period. And the faceoff will be inside the, low, the UTEP zone, won by New Mexico. Loose puck in front of the net, almost found a five hole. And it's covered up by the Miners. The Lobos with the power play. Hey, of course, we want to give our fans shout outs. Hey, fan of the game goes to Mr. David. He was waiting by the front door for the Lobos, giving everybody a high five. All right, face off a big slap shot that goes wide left. Man, it's good to be back here out here at Outpost with you, Josh. I, I missed the beginning of the broadcast up in the box, getting everything kind of set up. But man, it's good to be back. Yes, Lobos now with the puck. Look to handle it now. Nate Russell will play it for the Lobos behind his net. Over to Nate Tagligami. Tag sends it up to Ronquillo. Ronquillo looking to make something here, and he sends it over to Tagligami. Tagligami with the puck around the left wing boards. Has a man in his face. Sends it up to Chance Shanks. Almost holds on to it. Able to slap it over to the right. Shanks pushes it away. That's going to be Mackenzie Smith with the puck. Back over to the left to Tagligami. Nick Tag send, tries to center it. It is deflected away, but uh, 17 Ronquillo holds on to it. Right wing boards set all the way over left, and they're going to clear it out of the UTEP territory. Puck gets cleared out, recovered by Nate Tagligami. He'll have it. Looks to set something up. Beautiful pass. And a big shot that bounces off of a pad save over to the left wing boards. And that's number 18, John Kelly, right in the man's face, but it's thrown away by UTEP, and they're going to advance. UTEP now back at full strength. They'll take a shot. Great pass saved by Nathan, Nathan Russell. And the Lobos recover. Here they come. Here comes Ben Hop. Hop sends it and clears it into the UTEP zone. And they're going to call icing against New Mexico. Yeah, Jack Kelly couldn't quite get there, but a lot of hustle. Very evenly matched teams here. I know UTEP does carry the better record right now, uh, but some of those just kind of snuck away from uh, the Lobos. It's going to be a good couple of nights. If you guys can make it out, we're going to be back here tomorrow night, 8 p.m., six bucks to get in. Enjoy yourself. All right, face off one inside the New Mexico's UTEP, but the Miners steal it right away. They set a great pass saved by Nathan Russell. Access denied for the goaltender. Another shot opportunity for the Miners, and it goes wide left, rebounded by New Mexico. But the Miners quickly steal it away, and it's sent behind the net over to Tyler Lovett. Jack Kelly now with possession of the puck, sends it over to Chance Shanks. Shanks will clear it out. That's sold away by number 22, Jaden Ritchie for UTEP. He's going to send it up into Lobo territory, and a slap shot right into the belly of goalie Nathan, Nathan Russell. Russell. Man, Nathan Russell, uh, good to see him in net. There's a funny story on why Nathan Russell is playing tonight instead of the usual goaltender. Uh, James Boschen. James Boschen. What happened was James Boschen was getting a shape uh, uh, skate sharpened by a teammate. Teammate left him on the trunk of his truck and was driving down Paseo, and they fell off. And so uh, James Boschen doesn't have his skates tonight because they're broken. Well, that's So that Nathan Russell it. getting the nod for New Mexico. He needs skates to play hockey, Josh. <laughs> So Ben Hott will play the puck for New Mexico. Both teams playing very physical, which is what you want to see here at the outpost. Here comes Nate Tagliagami. Sends it over to Jack Kelly. Jack Kelly tries to send it up to Nate Tagliagami, but it is sold away by UTEP. Let's hear it for your Lobos out in those comments section. Let's get loud and proud. It is just about standing room only. Almost sold out here at outpost tonight. Student section really turned out. Miners now have the puck. They'll have it on the left wing. Looking to set something up. They try to center it, deflect it away. Rebounded by the Miners. Slap shot from top of the blue line. Rebounded by the Miners. Right in front of the net, and it goes in the back. And put one on the board for the Miners with 9.26 left to go in the first period. It's 1-0 UTEP. Adam just... 
got, got a l lucky break for the Utah Miners there as they were able to convert on a great passing. Seven on the goal for uh, and 22. So seven on the goal for the Utah Miners. Carlo uh, that's Witter. Carlin Witter with the goal for the Miners. 9.26 to go in the first period. Bit of a one-timer there. Great setup play. Good job to UTEP getting on the board first. It's one nothing. We have nine minutes and 26 seconds remaining in period number one here at Outpost Arena. So getting some confirmation here. <clears throat> and we'll have a face-off here at Center Ice. Mr. Jared Ronquillo will take it for New Mexico. Does a great job of winning it. Sends it over to Chance Shank. Shanks back over to Christopher Owens. Owens will send it over to Kenzie Smith. Back over to Chance Shanks. Sends it over to Dunwoody. Dunwoody over to Mackenzie Smith. Smith loses control of the puck, and the Miners will clear it out. Lobos dumped the puck back inside the Miners' zone. And scoreboard is just a little bit behind. We'll get that updated. It is 1-0 UTEP at the moment as Lobos try to fight back into this one. Christopher Owens now with the puck for New Mexico. Sends it over to Chance. Shakes great opportunity for Jared Ronquillo. Ronquillo Makes a great move. Oh. 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 What an amazing oh. shot by Jared Ronquillo. He took a shot, hit the pad off a UTEP minor, and it flew in the air and fell in the back of the net. Jared Ronquillo, put one on the board. Seventeen on the goal from ninety-five. So one to one here, at, with eight thirty-eight left to go in the first period. Great job by Jared Ronquillo to knot it up. And it looks like our scoreboard's acting up a little. Guys, just bear with us. We'll get it updated. One-to-one -one at Outpost. It looks like 831 remaining in period number one. And we're all knotted up. And like we said, this is going to be a good matchup. Very evenly matched teams. Ben Hop trying to hunt down the puck for New Mexico. And the Miners quickly steal away. They'll have it on left wing. They try to center it. And it's fighting for it back and forth and for possession. Both teams being physical, hitting up against the boards. And now New Mexico comes away with the puck. Great hit. Here comes A.J. Goff. Goff with it in the minor zone. Sends it behind the UTIP net. Fighting for the puck. Goff gets his own rebound. Still fighting for that loose puck. 7.49 left to go first period. All knotted up at one. Miners now with the puck. They'll have it up at center ice. They'll have it on the left wing board. Great defense by New Mexico's been hot to keep that puck away. Still fighting for possession. The Miners have the puck. There we go. Looks like the scoreboard's all updated, guys. It was it was definitely challenging. It's a whole new program we're running, so bear with us. Miners now have the puck. They'll take a shot, and it gets. Covered up by New Mexico. Loose puck in front of the net. Great job by New Mexico to keep that puck out of the net. Rebounded by the Miners. Now they have it on top of the blue line. Sends it over the left wing board. Shot taken and it goes right in the pads of Nathan Russell. Great save by Nathan Russell. Great save, absolutely. 6.59 left to go in the first period. And it's 1-1. Faceoff will be taken inside the Lobo zone, won by New Mexico. Here comes Mackenzie Smith, now with the puck. And he'll dump it inside the minor zone. And there'll be an icy call against the Lobo, so we'll have a faceoff right inside the Lobo zone. I hope everybody's enjoying the game. If you guys want to do us a great, huge favor, see the little subscribe button there on your screen. Make sure you click it, and you'll stay up to date with all the new Lobo information as we have here. All right, 6.48 remaining in period number one. All knotted up. Good save there. Miners trying to find that puck and put it in the back of the net, but the Lobos defense keeping it away. Here comes Jared Ronquillo. He gets it deflected, and it gets sent into the UTEP zone. 
Lobos now have the puck at center ice right here by Mackenzie Smith. Mackenzie Smith sends it up into UTEP territory. Chance Shakes can't hold on to it and it's stolen away by UTEP. Miners now have the puck. They'll take it inside the Lobo zone on the left wing board. Great move by the Miners. And a great pass save by Nathan Russell. Keeps that puck out of the net. Miners recover. They'll set something up. Top shot taken and it's off the rebound. And it finds the back of the net. And it's 2-1 UTEP now with 6.07 left to go in the first period. Seven from 21. And that's game Car number seven, Carlo Witter with his second goal of the night, giving UTEP the lead. Giving UTEP the lead two to one in period number one, 6.07 remaining, and Lobos find themselves tra uh, trailing on their home ice. Face off will be taken by Nate Tagligami, won by the Miners. Miners now have possession, they'll send it up. They take it inside the Lobo zone. Miners have the puck top of the blue line. Bad pass, they'll have to reset. Miners dump the puck inside the Lobo zone. Here comes Ben Hop. Hop now with the puck, looking to set something up. As he sends it over to Lovett, Lovett sends it over to Jack Kelly. Kelly, bad pass, but Nate Tangligami was able to recover. And Nate Tangligami trying to send it up to Jack Kelly, but it gets taken away by the Miners as, as they have it now inside the Lobo zone. Miners now with it on the right wing board. He'll take a shot, goes wide left on the net. Rebounded by Graham Chison. Chison sends it up to Jack Kelly. Kelly takes it inside the minor zone. Jack Kelly fighting along the right wing boards and he tries to send it back to Chison. Good stick play by Chison. He takes the shot and it goes wide right. Sends it back up to Chison. Chison can't handle it and it's stolen away by UTEP. UTEP will move it up. Here comes the Miners. They'll have the puck inside the level zone. Shot taken just above the head of Nathan Russell. Rebounded by UTEP. Bad pass by the Miners, and it gets taken away by New Mexico. Here's a great opportunity. There'll be a penalty against the Miners. Bit of a two-on-one. That's going to be Tagligami with the shot that goes wide right. Over to Jack Kelly. He's fighting for it. That is going to be a penalty against the Miners, which will result in a Lobo power play. We have four minutes and 47 seconds remaining in period number one. Lobo's trail 2-1, but they will be on the better end of a power play as number 25 for Jake UTEP. Jake Kampinski, sorry. Kampinski if we, uh, if we murder these names, we apologize. Yeah, that was definitely a slash at him right here in front of us as Nate Tangligami had a great chance to get a uh, breakaway and he was hacked by a stick. So we'll have a power play opportunity for New Mexico. Face off one by New Mexico. And it's taken away by the Miners. Miners now have the puck, looking to set something up as they are a man down but for about another minute and 30 seconds here. McKenzie Smith will hunt this down. Smith now has the puck for the Lobos as he's calling out command. Sends it over to Nate Tangligami. Tangligami sends it over to A.J. Goff. A.J. Goff with the puck on the right wing. He's going to send it over to Ronquillo. Ronquillo with the puck, defender in his place. Just trying to set something up here, play some smart hockey and take advantage of this power play, which they've struggled on throughout the season so far. Tagli got me up top. He's going to take the shot. There it goes. Oh! Top of the net. Hello. And it finds the back. And it's Nate Tagli got me for New he Mexico. Nate says, tag, your are in. And that is a goal Woo! for your Lobos. I got eight from 95 and 17. So Nate Tagligami by the assist by Chan Shanks and Jared Ronquillo. We're all knotted up at two with 3.49 left to go in the first period. And what a snipe that was from about 18 feet out into the upper right. Just a phenomenal shot by Nate Tagligami. And that's the type of offensive juggernaut that you need in these big games. Miners won the face off. They'll have the puck inside the Lobo zone on the left wing. Still fighting for possession here as they're Mackenzie Smith trying to keep off two minors. And here comes Mackenzie Smith with it. He has a great opportunity sending it over to AJ Goff. Goff sends it over to Chance Shanks. Shanks with the puck on the right hand side. He may just try to feed this up. Unable to do it, but Ronquillo almost recovers. And if he was able to, he would have had a great shooting opportunity. Does take a long shot, but it is stolen. Another coming back. 
319 left to go in the first period. All knotted up at two as, Jerry, as uh, Nate Tangaligami went top shelf. And the face off will be taken by Nate Tangaligami. One by the Miners now, and they push it up to center ice where Ben Hot will play it. Ben Hot sends it over to Lovett. Loose puck, oh, and Tyler Lovett gets thrown to the ground. And a loose stick. And there was no call on that, pretty shocking. Miners now have the puck top of the blue line. Bad pass taken away by New Mexico, and they clear it out. Jack Kelly getting hit by one of the Miners, and the puck comes loose, recovered by the Miners. Tyson there able to smack it away, good defense. He sends over and able to recover his Nate Tagaligami. He's gonna look for the shot, unable to get it with two defenders in his face. Happy to send it back behind the net where Jack Kelly is waiting for it, but it is stolen away. UTEP holds on to possession, 2.34 remaining in period number one. As UTEP tries to advance, Chan shakes right in his face. And here comes UTEP, moving up, Ronquillo right in his face. Fighting for puck possession. And the Miners have it on top of the blue line on the left wing board. Good defense by New Mexico. And a loose puck in front of the net. And Lobos recover and they'll try and clear it out, but the Miners were waiting for it. Miners now have it on the left wing. Top of the blue line, shot. Goes wide, recovered by New Mexico's Jared Ronquillo. Sends it up to Jack Kelly. Big hit up against the boards right in front of us as a Miner tripped and fell. And he loses control of the puck, but the Miners get the puck and dump it right back inside the Lobo zone. And it's getting chippy, a minute 40 remaining, uh, 45 remaining in period number one. UTEP holding on to the puck here. And it's on the way by the Lobos. Lobos trying to set it up. And again, big hit right in front of us. I'm sure you heard that one at home. As the puck is in UTEP possession in their own territory, they try to send it up. 24 for Lobos, waiting for it right there. That's Christopher Owens. As a, in the left wing boards, UTEP tried to advance, but they're playing a bit more defensively late in this period. Minute 19 remaining. Lobos fighting for possession. Christopher Owen sets up top and mishandled. It's going to find its way all the way back to the goalie. And Nathan Russell will play it to over to Mackenzie Smith. Smith calling out commands, setting up his team. Bad pass by the Lobos, and now it's in front of the net. And bad pass, but recovered by the Miners on the left wing. Shot taken, goes way above the goalie's head, and recovered by New Mexico. Lobos able to hold on. And here comes Chan Shanks getting very physical with it. People hitting him and hitting the ground. He's staying up like an oak tree. Holding on to the puck, fighting away, and UTEP comes away with it now. Looking for a shooting opportunity as number seven. He's been dangerous so far. Miners now have the puck behind the Lobo net. Trying to set something up. New Mexico's AJ Goff, great opportunity. Oh, almost had a great opportunity for Nate Tagliagami. And it gets deflected away. 21, 21 seconds, seconds remaining in period number one. We're knotted up at two. Guys, you gotta love this competitive hockey. Lobo's looking good. And don't forget, coming up, we're see if we get an interview with Dylan, the assistant coach of New Mexico, and he'll have us break down the first period. Faceoff is won by the UTEP Miners. Almost thrown away by the Lobos, but unable to do so as they're able to advance out center ice. And the Miners dump the puck inside the Lobo zone with nine seconds to go. Nate Tagligami trying to fight off a couple defenders of the UTEP Miners for that puck. With one second left, and now we'll do it. So at the end of one, it is New Mexico two, the UTEP Miners two. And we're going to get Dylan over here as we got the post game, or the uh, post period interview. So we are here with this Mr. Assistant Coach himself, Mr. Dylan. Dylan, break down what happened in the first period. Well, they got a fast team. We just got to match their speed. I mean, I think that up and down the lineup, we have the speed to match it. I don't think we really found the gear in the first period, but we're going to start driving wide and get pucks to the net. All right, Dylan, so a couple questions for you. A lot different than it was down in El Paso. You know, they, that second game, especially, they beat you guys 11-3. to Going into this weekend series, what did you guys have to tell the team to make sure that they stayed in this game? Well, we just got to we got to play smarter overall throughout the ice, and that's what we've been really harping on in practice, is playing our systems, and that's exactly what we did today. We're playing a simple game, pucks out of the zone, pucks in their zone, and we're going to go crash and bang. All right, and for the fans out there, 
who's somebody to keep their eye on, especially that's new to the network, never seen a game before? Who should we be keeping an eye on for the remainder of the game? Our starting goalie, Nate, he's a uh, third game in this season. He's playing on his head. He's outstanding. All right, Dylan, we'll let you get back to the locker room, buddy. We'll talk to you in the second period. That was coach, assistant coach Dylan, everybody. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have lots of second period action coming up. And if the second period was as good as the first period, you're in for quite a treat. We're going to take about a 13-minute break here, so don't go anywhere. Make sure that you keep it tuned in right here. You're watching Lobo Hockey right here on the Lobo Hockey Network. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Check, check, check.
All righty, everybody. Welcome back to the Outpost Arena in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It is all action-packed here at the Outpost as it's 2-2 going into the second period. The Miners going out of a goal and then the Lobos scoring and the Miners get another quick goal and the Lobos answer right back. So it is all knotted up. And we can't wait to get second period action going. There with us, we'll get the feet up just in a moment here. But we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, tomorrow night these two teams will face off in game number two. But right now, we're going to get game number one in play. So we'll have the face off. Here at center ice, taken by Nate Tagliagami. Face off one by New Mexico. Tyler Lovett now hands it over to Ben Hop. Hop sends it over to Graham Chison. Chice over to Graham Ch Tagliagami. Tagliagami almost had a great opportunity, lost control of the puck. Looks like he slipped a little bit on that ice. And rebounded by the Miners, and they'll clear it out. Miners now have the puck at center ice as they take it inside the Lobo zone. Miners now top of the blue line, deflected away, and New Mexico now has it. Ben Hop sends it into the Miners zone. Tangligami still has possession of the puck. Oh, loose puck in front of the net, taken away by the Miners. And here comes UTEP. UTEP has it on the right wing board. He'll take a shot, great pass save by Nathan Russell. And talking to Coach Dillon, remember he said Nathan Russell's the one to watch for as he's playing lights out. Taking over for James Boston tonight who, who did not have any skates. So Nathan Russell doing a great job of filling in. I know, I believe we were told that his mom's in the crowd from California, so it's good to see Nathan Russell in that for Tolobos. Face off won by the Miners. And here comes Isaac Dunwoody. Done when he gets the puck away from the Miners. Great opportunity over to Chance Shanks. Shanks hit hard and he's headed right into the board. Oh my gosh, I hope he's okay. His head was the first thing that collided with the boards. Oh man, he, he hit that hard. Oh man, that was a very scary scene as Chan Shanks went right into the boards, head first. Oh man, it was brutal to watch. Oh, I, I, that, was, that was nasty. Head went right straight into the board, head went back. Neck was just, did not look right. I hope he's okay. Oh man, it, that was probably one of the most disgusting hits I've seen in hockey as he was cheap shotted from behind, sent right into the boards head first. So we'll find out what happened here in just a second as we find out. It's good to see him up, and he probably will most likely be out the rest of the game as that's Chance Shanks and out. Th thank you for that information in the comment section. We got number seven, Witter, from Germany, and Richie from Canada. So it looks like UTEP has some players from uh, international roots. So we'll see uh, what the, we'll see how the, uh, the call is. They're gonna get him for two minutes. And it looks like boarding here for the Miners. Number three. Uh, hey guys, number 23, excuse me. That's Side Hater from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And keep an eye out for some midweek content. We were talking to Coach, and we're going to be doing some player profiles on the uh, Lobo Hockey Network for some midweek content to get to know your Lobos. Face off one by New Mexico. Nate Tangligami has it. Sends it over to A.J. Goff. Goff over to Ronquillo. Big hit. And the puck comes loose, and the Miners do a good job of clearing it out. 
18.38 remaining in period number one. All knotted up at two as the game continues to get more physical as it typically does here at Outpost. Good pass over to Chison. Chison looking to set something up as the puck is right behind the UTEP net. Because Smith takes a shot and it pops up right in front of the net. And it's covered up by UTEP and we'll have a face off in the UTEP zone with 17.47 left to go in the second period. We're all knotted up at two. And how about Nathan Russell so far, Josh? With some incredible pad saves. He had one with his leg, but it was just cat-like reflexes. Against a phenomenal UTEP team who has a great record and an extremely aggressive offensive attack, hats off to Nathan. 17.47, 50 seconds left to go in the Lobo power play. And the faceoff is won by UTEP and they'll clear it out. Russell sends it over to Ben Hop. Coach says, nice save, Nate, on that one. <laughs> Gotta love Coach Grant Harvey's sense of humor. As Tyson has the puck and advances. Tyson now with the puck. Looking to set something up. He's hit and a loose puck. And it's good to see Chan Shanks back out there. Here comes Jared Ronquillo. Gets the puck stolen away and the Miners will now have an opportunity. And here come the Miners along the right wing board. Sends it up top and a good shooting opportunity for them. And a great save there by Nathan. Nathan, Nathan Russell, Russell covers it up. Takes one in the body and drops on the puck to freeze it. Playing lights out. 17-10 left to go, second period, all knotted up at two. 13 seconds left to go in the Lobo power play. Shots on goal pretty much about even as the Miners have the advantage of 14-11. So good job by New Mexico to keep fighting in there with this UTEP team. Face off one by New Mexico. Chan Shanks will now have it for New Mexico. Shanks now on the left wing. He tried to center and the puck gets cleared out and sent out of play. So 16 minutes, 58 seconds remaining in period number two. All knotted up at two here at Outpost Arena. And pretty even shots on goal, Josh. You've seen a lot of offense, a lot of defense out of each team. They play very similar styles of hockey. The long shots followed by the cluster to the net. Very evenly matched teams. Jared Ronquia will take the face off for New Mexico inside the UTEP zone, as well as number seven, Carla Witter, who has two goals for the Miners tonight. And the face offs won by, New, by UTEP. UTEP trying to clear it out, and they do, and they'll have a three-on-one opportunity. And the UTEP Miners look to set up a shooting opportunity. A great defense, stolen away by the Lobos, able to clear the puck out. And Chan Shanks almost able to seal the puck there. Big hit right in front of us. Adam has done what he hit the hit. Uh, excuse me. Um, Number seven, Carlo Witter, right up against the boards. Yeah. And it is sent up to center ice. UTEP hold on, holds on to it. Lots of defenders there. Nothing doing. As it should be able to be cleared here by the Lobo, setting up the. Oh, and a big shot there. Deflected, thrown away, and UTEP scores. They find the back of the net on a deflection that gets right by Nathan Russell. The score now three to two, UTEP leading. In period number two, 16-15 remaining. So we'll have a face off. We'll have a face off right here in front of us at center ice. Nate Tagliagami, as well as number 17, Matthew Senka for the Miners. Face off one by UTEP and it sent it over to Ben Hot. Hot sends it into the UTEP zone where the Miners wait for it. They'll try to set something up now at center ice. Here come the Miners. UTEP holds on to it. They're back behind the Lobo net. Over in the right wing boards, a shooting opportunity and he kind of whiffs on it and it's set way up high. Grabbed by a UTEP Miner and the puck is frozen by the goalie. So what the UTEP Miners just try to do right there is try to glove it and shoot it into the net. That wouldn't have counted either way if, as the rules of hockey, you cannot grab the puck and throw it into the net. Good job by Nathan Russell to be right there though waiting for it. Hey guys, if you guys want to keep up to date with all the Lobo Hockey news, make sure you head to our Facebook page. Head to facebook.com forward slash the Lobo Hockey Network and make sure you stay tuned all season long for updates and highlights. Again, we'll be bringing you midweek content here in the near future as we do player profiles. Get to know your Lobos.
Faceoff is won by New Mexico back behind their own net and they look to advance. That's Big Ben Hop with the puck stolen away at center ice, but plastered up against the boards by Jeremiah Chagi. And we have an offsides call against the Miners, and Miners do not agree with it with 15.30 left to go in the second period. Hey, you guys want to hear about more sports? Make sure that you guys head on Sunday, head to our sister station, the ABQ Sports Group. We'll be talking some mobile hockey then, explaining how this game went as well. So make sure you join us this Sunday on the ABQ Sports Crew, now the producing of Global Hockey Network. Faceoff won by New Mexico. They send it into the UTEP zone. UTEP back behind their own net, waiting for it. Defender in his face, but he's able to clear it up. Sneaks by him, and Lovett should be able to chase this down, and he does. He's going to send it over to Ben Hopp. Ben Hopp with the puck up against the boards. Sends out to center ice, and that's Tyson with the puck. Tyson moves along the right wing boards. Tyson now with the heel, send it behind the Lobo net. Lobos, or the UTEP net, excuse me. UTEP recovers. They'll have it on the right wing board. Lobos, great job of keeping that puck inside the minor zone. Miners now with it behind their own net. Graham Chison hounding him for that puck and the Miners get away with it now and they'll have it at center ice. And a big shot that goes wide left. UTEP able to recover, looking for another shooting opportunity. Sends it over to the left and boards back behind the net up top and it is deflected away. UTEP comes up with the puck though and they're gonna smack one back behind the net. There is a Miner down point. though. A little slow to get up. Bad pass by Nate Tagligami, and it'll be an icing call against UTEP. Or against New Mexico, excuse me. Man. 14 for UTEP. Jason Moore, who's a little slow to get up as he heads his way over to the bench. Make sure that he's all right. And he made his way over there. Good job. Never good to see a player go down. 14.26 left to go here in the second period. And it's 3-2 UTEP. Face off at center ice will be taken by the Miners. And a Lobo trips and falls as that was Dunwoody. And here come the Miners inside the Lobo zone. And it's back behind the net. They're getting physical and it goes wide left. UTEP able to recover. It's getting physical, getting chippy out there as the Lobos fight away the puck. And it's going to be smacked back behind their own net and their own territory here. Over to the right wing boards. That's Chance Shanks with the puck. Shank sends it up towards center ice. Here, here comes Jerry Ronquillo now. He'll have it inside the UTIP zone. Fast sh shot and it gets deflected in the air and sent out of play. That's what you love to see though. Ronquillo with that speed has been so crucial in a lot of the big wins we've seen out of UNM Lobo so far this season. So 13.48 left to go here in the second period. 3-2 Miners. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Lobo Hockey Network broadcast. I hope you're enjoying it. Let's see some talk out there. We're yeah, all the Lobo the fans. Lobos, man. They're putting it up. They didn't, a lot of people didn't give them a chance in this game. They only trail by one. 13.48 remaining in period number two. And here at Outpost, the crowd is getting loud and proud for your New Mexico Lobos. As they, they fight for possession. New Mexico and uh, deflected away. And the Miners now recover and they'll look to clear it out. Looks like Love it should be able to chase this one down as he puts a man up against the boards fighting for possession back behind their own net. Dangerous and precarious situation here for the Lobos. This is how UTEP scored last time, centering one back up in front of the net. Sent over to the left-hand boards. Chan Shank should be able to chase this one down. He's able to clear it up to center ice. Good clear there by the Lobos. UTEP now has puck possession in their own zone. Looking to set something up. Back and forth around the boards as they're playing that puck. UTEP finally clears it out, but New Mexico steals it. And dumps it right back into the UTIP zone. Miners now play it on the left wing board, play it now behind the net. They send it over to the right wing board, now looking to set something up and get it cleared out. And here comes UTIP. They're going to take a long slap shot from far beyond the blue line. It goes about 12 feet too high. You need about a soccer net to find a, <laughs> to find a goal there. I think he was just kind of sending a prayer as Nathan uh, Russell just watched that one sail far, far overhead. We're going to head out to center ice. 12.47 remaining in period number two. Your Lobos trailing 2-1, to one, but fighting in what is a crucial game at kind of the midway point in their season. Face off one by the Miners, and they have now puck possession. He almost sent it behind his own net. Lobos right on top of that puck, making sure that the Miners do not clear it out. Miners now have it, top of the blue line into center ice. 
And here come the Miners with a lot of speed. That's number 19. Looking for a shooting opportunity. He sends it up top, but it is stolen away by Christopher Owens. New Mexico try to send it into the, YouTube's, the uh, UTEP zone. Mackenzie Smith now with it at center ice. Mackenzie he Smith gets is sold away, and that's a breakaway by UTEP. He's going to have a shooting opportunity. Great pad save there by Nathan Russell as he sends it over to the left wing boards. Christopher Russell goes to fight away, but a miscommunication by the Lobos, and it's stolen away and sent over into the left wing boards. A bit of sloppy play there by the Lobos, uncharacteristic, and I'm sure Coach Grant Harvey is going to let him hear it for that one. As UTEP fighting for possession over on the right wing boards, sends it out to center ice and able to clear. Miners now have the puck at center ice, looking to set something up. Lobos get a couple players changed. Big hit right there. And sold away and sent back behind the net by UTEP. Another dangerous play. And it looks like we'll have a play stoppage here. You definitely going to get a line change here by the Lobos as uh, Coach Grant sends some players in. They're going to play a bit more physical in these situations or have a bit more hustle on these uh, turnovers. And we will have a penalty, it looks like, against UTEP. Oh, no, no. Look, it's a tripping call against New Mexico. That's number 27, Mackenzie Smith. So the Miners are now on the power play with 11.37 left to go here in the second period. So Miners on the power play here. Let's see if they can convert and, or let's see if New Mexico can stop them. And a long shot into the body of Lovett. Smacked into Nathan Russell and it's passed behind the net as that O2 familiar zone defense on the sour end of a power play by the Lobos has been effective for the most part of this season. As UTEP tries to send one flying from the far right, covered there by Moore. Go boys, come on. Sent over to the left wing boards. That's Carlo Witter with the puck, another slap shot. He already has a pair of goals tonight. Back to Witter. Witter with a slap shot into the body of Tagliagami. Stone away, and that finds the back of the net. That is a goal for you, Tim. So the power play goal with 10.54 left to go. The Miners now have a two-goal advantage as they lead four to two. Number 25 on the goal, 21 on the assist. That is number 25, Jake Kopinski with the goal for UTEP. Assisted by number 21, Austin Simpson. And we'll have a face off at center ice. Jared Ronquilla will take it for the Lobos, as well as number 13, Jorge Abin for the Miners. One by New Mexico, they sent it into the UTEP zone, but UTEP cleared it right out. And that does put the Lobos back at full strength as they look to rebound here. Here comes Jake, or here comes Chance Shanks. Almost had a great centering opportunity. Puck got deflected by a UTEP uh, stick. And here comes New Mexico trying to set something up and they lose control of the puck and the Miners now recover. Sent over into the left wing. Love it there to pick it up. Love it sends it up to Shanks. Shanks with a man in his face. Tries to steal the win. He's able to come away with it. He's going to send out to center ice. Skirmish over on the right wing boards. Dunwoody fighting for possession of the puck. It's just thrown away by a minor. Miner sealed away, and they should be able to play, but a big hit puts him up against the boards. That's a physical play they're looking for. And Mackenzie Smith mishandles it, but able to recover. Here comes the Lobos now. They'll push it inside the UTEP zone. UTEP quickly steals that puck away, now behind their own net. Bad pass right in front as Chan Shinks takes it away, and he'll have it on the right wing board. Shot taken, almost deflected in, and it's rebounded by New Mexico. Right there in front of the net, and it gets cleared out. And the Lobo fans not very happy as a holding was being, uh, should have been called, but no call against UTEP. The referee jumps over the puck as it's sent to the lowest skates, right into the belly of number 14. That's, that's Jeremiah Chagi. Here comes the Miners now as they'll have the puck inside their own zone. And still fighting for puck as it's going back and forth here in the UTEP zone. And it finally gets cleared out. One-on-one -on -one opportunity for UTEP. UTEP takes the shot and the pad saved by Nathan Russell. Still fighting for possession over here. Put up against the right wing boards. Christopher Owens can't quite come away with it. UTEP sneaks it up top, over to the left. Eight forty nine remaining in period number two. Four two UTEP over the Lobos thus far. Let's go. Let's go. 
Still fighting for that puck as it's going back and forth between the Lobos and the Miners. Lobos able to come away with it. And it looks like there's going to be a penalty called. And what do the Lobos have to do, Josh, to claw back the, into this one midway into the second period? They got to clean up those passes, Adam. It's not looking like the normal Lobo hockey right now. As those passes, they've had great opportunities to get breakaways. Unfortunately, just, just those passes, they just need to clean up just a little bit. With 8.28 left to go here in the second period, it's 4-2 UTEP. We'll have a face-off inside the Lobo zone, and it's won by the Miners. Miners with the puck over on the left wing. Sent back behind the net, but it is picked up by the Lobos as the Lobos send it back from the left wing. It's getting physical out there, and just another mishandled puck. And the Lobos clear it out, but there'll be an icy call against New Mexico. So we'll have a face-off in the Lobo zone with 8.09 left to go. It's 4-2 Miners. Don't forget to join us tomorrow night to make sure that you don't miss any of the action. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right there on your little YouTube page, and that way you don't miss any of the action. 8 p.m. puck drop. But let's get back to game one right here. Face off one, one by the Miners. They took a shot wide and it's recovered by UTEP. Sent over to UTEP Miner up top, but it is stolen away by Chagi. UTEP comes away with it again. Now, offensive onslaught has just been a nightmare for the Lobos thus far tonight. Thankfully, Nathan Russell was there in net to deflect yet another one. As the Lobos Here comes Jack them. Kelly, great opportunity. He'll send it over to Chison. Chison from the net, oh, and it gets deflected away. Rebounded by Jack Kelly, and the Miners get the puck and take it away. Chison recovers the puck, and there'll be a penalty call against UTEP as Nathan Russell goes to the, uh, his bench, so we'll have a penalty against the Miners here and a Lobo power play opportunity. So let's see who they call. So two miners are going to the penalty box. Twenty-one's got two for interference. Twenty-five got two for unsportsman and a ten-minute misconduct. Okay, just just two five Hey guys, we'll remind Number you we are right in between two penalty boxes. So if there's uh, some adult language that sneaks in there, it is not our intention, and we apologize. Well, number 21, Austin Simpson getting a 10-minute penalty misconduct. Game misconduct. So for unsportsmanlike conduct, as well as number 25, uh, that looks like Jake Kempinski getting the uh, interference call. So we're going to have some five-on-three hockey, it looks like. If there was ever a time for uh, the Lobos to claw their way back into this one, Josh, now would be it. 7-17 remaining in period number two. Lobos find themselves down two to four. So it looks like we'll have. And here comes New Mexico off the face-off win. We'll have some five on three hockey here. Nate Tagligami with the puck. Sends it over the left wing board. Mackenzie Smith over to Nate Tangaligami. Tangaligami to Rakio finds the back of the net! Put it in there! Jared Rakio finds the back of the net! An all too familiar sight for him! With seven minutes left to go in the second period, the Lobos are now down four to three. Seventeen on the goal from eight and twenty-seven. That is Jared on Keel with the goal assisted by number eight, Dick Tagligami, and number twenty-seven, Mackenzie Smith. Face off will be taken at center ice by Jared on Keel, who scored the last goal for the Lobos. All right. 
Ryan Lobos with possession in their own territory. See if they can feed off that momentum. A huge goal there by Ronquillo. And they're gonna to wanna to fight a little bit more, get this knotted up. With plenty of hockey left to go here tonight. 640 remaining period number two. Only down one, three, Here four. comes Chison now, right in front of the net. Oh, loose puck and almost found its way in as Jared Ronquillo was right there. Jared Ronquillo, great stick work. Nate Tagligami now has it. Miners now in control of the puck. They'll send it over. And here comes the Miners on a breakaway opportunity. But the Lobos beat him there. Great save by Nathan Russell. Right into the belly of Russell, and he's able to block that one. Just a brick wall so far tonight. Nate Tagligami now with it at center ice. Almost took the head off of the referee. And still fighting for that puck. Here comes the Lobos with a little bit of momentum. The Miners now have it. And they're getting that long pass down pretty well. Another save there by Nathan Russell. Playing great, but sold away by UTEP. Another shooting opportunity. Good defense there by Mackenzie Smith as he taps it away. Again, UTEP able to come up with it. They'll have and to there's going to be a penalty territory. against New Mexico, Adam, as UTEP's goaltender comes out of net. So an extra skater for the Miners right now until the Lobos touch the puck. And Lobo should be able to come away with this. No, nope, UTEP steals it away. They're gonna have a shooting opportunity here. Good job by the Lobo stealing that away, but they will be on the opposite end of a penalty. Looks like Chison is heading over towards the, oh, that's Jared Ronquillo. And it looks like it'll be against Jared Ronquillo. Let's see what they call them for. For slashing, so we'll have some four on four hockey here. With about, for, for about seven seconds, and then the Miners will go into a power play. Face off inside the Lobo zone. Won by the Miners. Miners now have possession. Looking to set something up. And the Miners are back at full strength. Bad pass, and the puck gets cleared out, and they'll have to reset. And here comes Chan Shanks now with the puck for New Mexico. He has it in the UTEP zone. Fighting off a couple of UTEP defenders. Coach Grant not happy as he was slashed a couple times. No call. Here comes 19 for UTEP. Moving along the left wing boards. Number two sitting up top. Back behind the Lobo net. Over into the right wing boards. Looking to set up shooting opportunity. Yeah, 17 up top. 17 might be able to get away with the shot here. And they score. UTEP able to get the rebound score after a good block by Nathan Russell. But it's smacked over to the left and finds the back of the net. With 4.48 left to go in the second period is UTEP 5. New Mexico three. 12 from 16 and 17. That's number 12. We do not have a number 12 for the minors, so I don't know if they got confused. I think it was 17 actually, Matthew Sinka. Sinka. Yeah, it looks like it was him for the minors. So with 448, 4-3 UTEP, or excuse me, 5-3 UTEP. I think it was 17. I think it was Matthew Sinker. Just getting some clarification there, guys. Looks like UTEP able to come away with this one and a good pad save there by Nathan Russell. Nathan Russell filling in really well for James Postian. Lobo's now trying to fight off that puck away from the UTEP zone, but the Miners keep it alive. Sent back behind the neck. Chance, or Ben Hop with the puck, able to send it up top. Jack Kelly just didn't see it, not able to track that one down. As the Lobo send it out to center ice. And Here a good pass there, looks like Chyson now with, with, with it. it. Try to send it in front of the goaltender and gets deflected away. Sold away by the Lobos. Miners now have the puck inside their own zone, looking to set something up. Out center ice it goes as UTEP looks to advance this over to the on the right wing boards. That's number 21. Just takes a shot that goes wide right. Number eight there to pick it up. It's just been an offensive onslaught for UTEP so far in the second period. 3.40 remaining as the Lobos trail three to five. UTEP with possession. Almost get it stolen away and it looks like they may get it stolen away and they're at least able to clear. UTEP now with the puck in their own zone, looking to set something up as they get a line change. And the puck gets sent into the Lobo zone. Lobo's bad job of clearing it out. The Miners take it right back in there. But good job by Jared Ronquillo to take the puck away. He's puck. a fast skater, taking it inside the UTEP zone. 
Looking for his Lobo teammate. Couldn't find him as the puck gets sent behind the net. Miners have control of the puck. Looking to set something up, but it's great opportunity for New Mexico is to keep the puck alive inside the minor zone. Here they come. AJ Goff almost had a great opportunity and the puck gets deflected away. Lobos will have to reset at center ice. Sends it over to Mackenzie Smith. Smith with a great stick move. He has a great opportunity. Shot taken as a pass save by Utah. Loose puck in front of the net. And it gets sent in. And Chad Shanks hit from behind once again. And the fans very upset as they wanted to call, especially Grant Harvey. Grant Harvey definitely was screaming for it. That was about as dirty as it comes, sent straight back into the wall. Grant Harvey letting them hear it. Two forty-two left to go here in the second period. Five-three. Man, but that's Lobo hockey, Josh. It's getting physical out here at Outpost. The crowd's letting them hear it. UTEP showing up in a big way. Very evenly matched teams. Lobo's trailing. Three to five. Two forty-two remaining in period number two. Face-off will be inside the UTEP zone. Will be taken by it looks like AJ Goff. On the ice, Chan Shanks, Jared Ronquillo. AJ Goff, Tyler Lovett, and Ben Hop. Face off one by the Miners, looking to set something up. Over the right wing boards. Still have the puck now by the Miners. They look to clear it out, and they do. Good job by New Mexico's Ben Hop to make sure that that wasn't a breakaway opportunity. Here comes Chan Shanks now with the puck for the Lobos. Makes a great stick move, sends it over to Jared Ronquillo. Ronquillo takes a shot, deflected away by a Miner. Here comes UTEP now as they clear the puck out. Ben Hop waiting for it. Good job by Hop to keep that puck inside the UTEP zone. UTEP now has the puck. Looking to set something up. And that's an over into Lobo territory. Ben Hop there waiting for it. Takes it back behind his own net. Love it up top. Love it's going to come away with this one. As the UTEP minor tries to fight it away, but it is thrown away by Christopher Owens. Almost finds the breakaway to Chance Shanks, but able to come down with it is a UTEP minor. Tries to center it, but good defense there by the Lobos. And Here comes Chan Shanks. Shanks on the left wing board. Looking to set something up. Great move. He gets tripped from behind. And no call as even the crowd is cheering as he got tripped. Some words are exchanged back and forth between some Miners and some Lobos. And it looks like the ref is just swallowing his whistle on some of these calls here tonight. So we'll have a UTEP uh, penalty as... Looks like number 13, Jorge Amen getting okay. two minutes for slashing, but Christopher Owens going to the box as well for New Mexico. He got slashing as well, Christopher Owens. Lobo fans very upset that there wasn't a tripping call as Chan Shanks had a great opportunity at the net, Adam, and got tripped up. I mean, it's pretty bad when even the little kids know that that was a penalty. <laughs> Hey, they're enjoying it, though. We've got a full crowd out here at Outpost tonight. Don't forget, we'll be back here tomorrow night, 8 p.m., same time, same place. And if you can't make it out, this is your stream for Lobo Hockey. Lobo's now with possession of the puck. Nick Tangley got me the captain, calling out his play. Sends physical. it over to Graham Chison. Chison now sends it into the YouTube zone. Great stick move. He sends it over to McKenzie Smith. Smith tried to take it, and it gets deflected away. Nate Tagligami, great rebound. Four-on-four four hockey, so you're going to see nothing but speed here from both teams. This is really when you think you might have, like, a Ronquillo or someone out there on the ice. At least you have a Nate Tagligami. He's just an offensive juggernaut. So here we go. Puck now in possession of the UTEP Miners. UTEP looking to advance, look for a shooting opportunity. Tries to center it, able to do so. He's gonna take a shot that goes uh, off a deflection into the right wing. UTEP holds onto it, tries to center it, but plenty of Lobos there to deflect it away. Tagligami with the puck, 30 seconds remaining Let's in go. period Let's number two. Come on, boy. Here comes Nick Tagligami. He's gonna to try to take on the whole minor defense. He does, on the right wing board, shot taken, goes wide above the head of the goaltender for UTEP. Rebounded by New Mexico, Ben Hop now has it. Ben Hop, loose puck in front of the net, and it's covered up by the Miners with 14.9 seconds left to go in the second period. Don't go anywhere, folks. As you know, Lobo Hockey, their period is nothing but action-packed enjoyment, <laughs> as you would say. It's, it, it gets intense out here. I mean, that's when the action really happens. Uh, I mean, just watch. I, I, I can't see the future, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, Josh. Coach Dillon will be joining us for the second period, and we'll discuss what he saw. But first, let's finish this period. Face-off won by the Miners. 10 seconds left to go. 
They clear it out of the Lobo zone. AJ Goff trying to clear it out. Love it with the puck. So tries to send it up, but a defender in his face. Number 21 for UTEP gets it stolen away by Ronquillo. Ronquillo looking for an opportunity, but unable to find one. And that's going to do it for period two at Outpost. Your Lobo's trial at three to five in a highly contested match. All righty, so we're going to see if we get an interview here with Coach Dillon. No, it looks like he's heading off to the uh, to talk to the referees about something. Uh, so it looks like. Bear with us here as Coach Dillon's making his way over here. All right, guys, joined by Coach Dillon here. Coach, a little bit more intense second period. What are you going to tell your guys when you head to the locker room? Well, it, absolutely. That was definitely a more intense period, but I think we can even step up the physicality even more. They're way too comfortable with the puck every time we dump it deep. They're defense, they have the puck, and they start wheeling up. So more physicality off our end for sure. Now, there was a big hit on Chan Shanks. He hit his head right into the boards. How's he doing? He's doing fine. He's ready to play. Uh, he'll play through. He's a tough kid. Uh, yeah, like I said, he's a tough kid. He's all right. It was a dirty play and another play just like it by the same player. All righty, so going into the period number three, what is one thing to make sure that the Lobos can seal the victory? Well, we got to get the puck to the net. I mean, their, their goaltender hasn't seen too much Robert tonight, and to be blatantly honest, he's not a very good goaltender. So all we got to do is get the puck to the net. We'll be fine. All righty, Coach. Go get him, and we'll see you in the third period. All righty, guys. So that you heard it from Coach Dillon. you got to make sure that the goaltender for UTEP sees more action as he – it's not being challenged enough, according to Coach Dillon. So don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to take about a 14-minute break here, so make sure that you keep it tuned in right here. You're watching Lobo Hockey right here on the Lobo Hockey Network. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
behind the head from Jackson. All right, welcome back everybody. 20 minutes on the clock, five to three, your Lobos trail. Let's see some third period magic at Outpost Arena. Don't forget to join us tomorrow night as well, fans. So if you don't want to miss any of the action, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there on the front of your screen and don't miss any of the Lobo action tomorrow. Yeah, well, I just heard a good point up there. Guys, we sell some custom Lobo hockey pucks. Um, we'll show you some on tomorrow's broadcast for sure. As the faceoff is won by the Lobos, and they're gonna look to advance here as Nate Tagligami has it on the left wing board, sends it over to Tyson. Tyson with the puck back behind the net. Sends it over to Chance, or Ben Ha, Ben Ha back behind the net. Sold away by UTEP as they send it up towards center ice. Here comes the Miners now, they'll have the puck at center ice, still taking inside the Lobo zone. On the left wing now, looking to set something up, right in front of the net and it goes wide. And it looks like New Mexico will try to rebound and both teams are back at full strength. Lobos and Miners trying to get configuration. Here comes Nate Tagligami. They've got a two on one. Here comes Tagligami looking for the goal. Sends it into the belly of the goalie. Oh man, great opportunity for Nate Tagligami. Unfortunately, just couldn't find the back of the net. 19-13 left to go in the first period. It's 5-3 Miners. Hey, don't forget, in two weeks, the Lobos will be back in town as well when they face the Air Force Academy for Military Appreciation Night. Darko Print Shop will be back here at the Outpost printing t-shirts and our exclusive military shirt for all the military out there in support of you. Thank you so much to our military. Absolutely. It's a fun one here tonight as UTEP advances. UTEP now has it inside the Lobo zone. And a shot taken, and it goes underneath the legs of Nathan Russell. And with 18.59, the Miners now have a three-goal lead as it gets bumped up to six to three. 19 from 17. That's number 19, Jonathan Sanko with the goal. Matt, uh, and it looks like his brother, Matthew Sanka, with the uh, assist. You'd assume they're brothers. I'm guessing they are. I mean, that's not a very common last name. I mean, do you remember cool runnings at the end you got? That's got to You read my mind, mind Adam. <laughs> so six to three. Uh, Utah has doubled down on the Lobos in their own house. 18.52 remaining in period number three as Lobos uh, just trying to trying to breathe and make it through. Um, I mean, they're going to have to do a lot to claw back into here. You're going to look for a lot of uh, speed off the breakaways. And here comes New Mexico. Chance Shanks now has the puck. Shot taken, pass saved by the Miners. And it's sent over into the right wing boards. UTEP able to come away with that. And you can hear a penny drop after that goal. That took a lot of life out of the Lobos. Here comes UTEP trying to attack the Lobos zone, but Mackenzie Smith was waiting for it. Isaac Dunwoody now with it for New Mexico. Sends it up to Chant Shanks. Chant Shanks is happy to take a slap shot, just looking for a good deflection there. And it's sent over into the left wing boards. Lobos fighting for possession. Looks like they'll be able to come away with it. Stolen away by UTEP. UTEP moves it up towards Tanner Ice. Here comes UTEP. They'll dump it inside the Lobos zone. Christopher Owens will play it for the Lobos on the right wing board. Being hunted down by a UTEP miner. And the miners now have the puck at center ice. Great job by AJ Goff to take that puck and he'll take it inside the UTEP zone. And he sends it again right to the belly of the goalie. 17.44 left to go here in the second period. 6-3 New Mexico. And that's John Luke Presteco playing in the net for UTEP. Playing a really great game so far tonight. Jared Goff able to win the faceoff for the Lobo. Sends it up to Love it. Love it over to the left wing boards down to Chagi. Chagi sends it back behind the net. UTEP fighting for possession back behind the net. Chagi waiting for it. Clears by him and UTEP recovers. They'll be able to clear. Here comes the Miners now. They'll have the puck inside the Lobo zone. Shot taken by the UTEP Miners. Nathan Russell keeps that puck away. Big hit by AJ Goff on the boards as the UTEP Miner goes down. Getting chippy now, both teams pit up against the board. And it looks like number two of the Miners, that's Keenan Conte, is down and slow to get up. He's holding his shoulder. I hope he's Keenan, all right. Keenan Conte, slow to get up over there. And he is in a lot of pain. And he is struggling to get up. Our, uh, we're, we're hoping he's all right out there. 
He looks like he's all right, just took a big shot there. Might have had the wind knocked out of him. We're hoping for the best. 17.05 left to go, 6-3 UTEP. Good to see his teammates there to help him up, and he's up and skating. Holding that left shoulder though, so let's see if he comes back in tonight's game. Good job by UTEP, to, good sportsmanship on their own teammate there. Good job, hope he's all right. I'm sure he'll be seeing the trainer. He seems like he's gonna be all right over there on the edge, just holding on to that shoulder. As the faceoff will be in UTEP territory, Snake Tagliagami heading it up. Tagliagami sends it between the defender's legs. Lobo's able to come up with the puck. Up top, and almost a good shooting opportunity, but it's deflected away, and UTEP will advance it. And that is Here. the dangerous number seven, Carlo Witter. Here comes UTEP, right behind the Lobo net. Center eight, right in front of the net. Loose puck, recovered by the Miners. Miners now have it on the right wing board. They'll try to center it once again, but Ben Hot was waiting for it. Couldn't clear it out, and the Miners recover. Love it, now we'll play the puck for New Mexico. Back and forth with possession here, and the Lobos trying to get that puck cleared out of their own zone. UTEP doing a great job of making sure that doesn't happen. Ben Hot will play it for New Mexico. Gets it finally cleared out to Nate Tagliagami. Tagliagami looking for a shooting opportunity as he speeds around a defender on the left wing boards. Sends it up top, but a deflection shot, and it is stolen away by UTEP. Good defense there. Christopher Owens can't come down with it, and it's cleared out to center ice, where Mackenzie Smith is going to take it in his own territory. Sends it up to center ice, and that's going to trickle down to the goalie. Tipped over to number 20 for UTEP. That's Dominic Foggia, I believe is how you Here comes it. the Miners now. They'll have the puck inside the Lobo zone. Try to center it. Deflected away by Nathan Russell, keeping that puck away. Here comes Chance Shanks with a great opportunity. And he's tough. He's able to send a good pass there. Just gets by Ronquillo, though. Ronquillo smacks it up looking for a deflection, and they almost get it. A good loose puck shot there, but it does uh, find the uh, get behind the net. Another shot by, by the Utah Miners now. Here they come. They'll have it at center ice. Good job by New Mexico to keep that puck out of their zone. Chan Shanks with a great opportunity here. Steals it away. He's got a player up top if he can find him. Can't get it there in time, so he's going to wait for some help. Sends it over to Mackenzie Smith. Mackenzie Smith with a shot. A deflection shot, a loose puck in front of the net. And it looks like it finds the net. a goal! New Mexico put it on the board. With 15-15, the Lobos bring it within two. It's now 6-4, UTEP. Hey, way to go, buddy. Way to go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Looks like Jared Ronquillo was the factor, or Chan Shanks will get clarification here. Regardless, that makes it six to four. Seventeen, twelve, ninety-five. 95. So number 17, Jared Ronquillo with his second goal tonight, assisted by Isaac Dunwoody, his third, oh, his correction, third. So that's a hat trick for Jared. He's, he's accustomed to those at this point. And we're tightening things up. 15-13 remains in the final period here at Outpost. Lobos trail four to six with a lot of momentum after that goal. Still lots of hockey to be played. Great opportunity for the Miners now as they take it into the Lobos zone. Shot taken, great save by Nathan Russell. As it was a loose puck in front of the net, the Lobos doing a great job of keeping that puck away. Lots of hockey to be played. Still more time for the Lobos to catch up. First thing you'll notice right now is how chippy. You're seeing a lot more people hit the ice now. Here comes UTEP now. They'll have the puck, try to center it, gets deflected away. Ben Hot plays it for the Lobos. Still trying to find the puck, and it's now Ben Hot with it. Hot loses control, and that's a bad turnover. UTEP now has it. They'll take a shot. Goes way above the goaltender's head. Here comes Chison. And you can never count these Lobos out. They've come back from worse before. Only down two with 14 minutes remaining in period number three as it's sent over into UTEP territory. And an icing call against New Mexico, so we'll have a face off in the Lobo zone. Well, 14 11 left to go here. Adam, what's one thing the Lobos got to do to make sure that they can keep pace with these Miners? Get Jared goal number four. I mean, he has been their offensive attack so far tonight, besides a few trickle ins. Continue with those slap shots, uh, the rebounds, um, and play that tight defense that they have been playing. You can't count them out. They've come back from worse. This is a, still a great game here at Outpost tonight. Lobos win the face off. They'll look to clear it out of their zone. Big hit up against the boards. And here comes Graham Chison. Chison with the puck. He's able to hold on. And they're going to call it off sides. Uh, we had a, there's something else called over here. I don't know if I saw off sides was called. 
It looks like they're gonna get AJ Goff or something, and there'll be a penalty against New Mexico. Uh, he may have hit the ice too early on the line change. Two minutes for roughing, and that's AJ Goff, and the crowd does not like it. Graham Tyson had a great breakaway opportunity, and it got called for roughing. AJ Goff not happy again. Excuse, uh, excuse the language if it came through. And that, that student section is letting them hear it. Adam, do you want to take a bet on when uh, Coach Grant Harvey's scarf is going to come off? Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're not accustomed <laughs> to Loma hockey. Coach Grant has a scarf that he wears every game, and every game he usually goes flying in the third period. <laughs> it's better than chairs. We've seen those. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, uh, let's, let's just keep that momentum going. Chyson smacks the puck up. A lot of hockey still play 13.52 in period number three. UTEP now with the puck. They'll have it at center ice. See if they can just inside kill the local zone. Play. Great move by UTEP. UTEP loses control of the puck, and Nate Tangligami will come away with it. They've struggled on power play so far tonight. If they can kill this one, it build a lot of momentum for UNM. Chyson trying to fight the puck, and we're going to have the puck back inside the Lobo zone as Christopher Owens will play it for New Mexico. Still fighting for possession on that right wing board. New Mexico comes away with it. Able to clear it out. Still a minute 15 remaining on the power play. Goaltender almost lost control of the puck, and Graham Chyson's right there waiting for it. Still looking for possession as Graham Chyson's looking for possession of that puck. One minute left on this power play. They're going to have to fight hard and dig deep to kill this one. Here comes the Miners now inside the Lobo zone. They'll center it, and bad pass by the Miners. Gets it over to New Mexico. New Mexico doing a great job of clearing it out, and they'll have 40 seconds left to kill. How about that defense by Christopher Owens right there? Puts a shoulder in the man, able to clear the puck, and kill about half of what was remaining on this power play. Only 35 seconds remaining on the UTEP power play. UTEP now has the puck at center ice. They'll take it inside the Lobo zone, and we're going to have... We're going to have too many men on the ice, Adam. Call against UTEP. So that essentially is going to kill that power play four. So that'll be number nine going to the penalty box. That's Nicholas Perez going to the box for the Miners. So we'll have four on four hockey for about 29 seconds, and then the Lobos will be on a power play. 31 left to go here in the third period. 6-4 UTEP. All right, Adam, here's a great opportunity for New Mexico. 4-4 four four hockey. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for them. You've got to figure you're going to get some of your speed out there. Chan Shakes can't quite get to that one, and the UTEP miner is able to clear up. And we'll have an icing call against UTEP. And we'll have a face-off in the UTEP zone with 12:21 left to go in the third period. Let's hear it in those comments for your Lobos. The student section's loud and proud. Let's get those comments going. Let's get them likes. Everybody's a Lobo. 19 seconds left to go in the Lobo penalty before they get the, uh, the, the man back and they'll have the power play. Lobos fighting for possession in the UTEP territory. Puck sent straight up into the air. UTEP able to come down with it. Jeveron Keel playing aggressive and trying to chase him down. Can't quite get there. Here comes UTEP now. They'll have the puck in center ice. Good job by Jaron Ronquillo to take that puck away, but the Miners steal it right back. Miners dump the puck inside the Lobo zone. Lobo's now on the power play. 11.48 left to go. A minute 14 to go in the power play. Jared Ronquillo with the puck for New Mexico. And they've got to capitalize here. They've got a minute 10 remaining on a power play. They've got to get into Utah territory and get some shooting opportunities. Jared Ronquillo calling out his plays. He'll set something up. Here he comes at center ice. Coach Guy Harvey let them know they can't skate with you, and they really can't. Jared is about the fastest player out there on the ice. Circles around the back of the net. Already has four goals here, or three goals here tonight, looking for his fourth. Stolen away. Good deflection and pickup there by Ben Hump. And it's frozen by UTEP. 37 seconds remaining on the Lobo power play. 11.09 remains in period number three. Lobo's trail six to four.
Don't forget to join us tomorrow night as well as game two between these heated rivals. Faceoff is won by the Lobo, sent up top to Nate Tagliagami. Tagliagami over to the left wing boards, back up to Tag. Takes a slap shot that is deflected and almost finds its way in. Loose puck. Oh, oh, the Lobo back in the net. With 10.59 left to go, the Lobos bring it within one, Adam. Don't count those boys out. Five from and eight. AJ Goff with the goal. The kid from Colorado put it in the back of the net. And talk about capitalizing. Assisted by Nick Tagliagami. So it is now six to five. Lobo still trail, but have all the momentum in the world. 10.59 remaining in a heated third period out here on the ice. Face off one by New Mexico. They'll dump it into the UTEP zone. <laughs> What did Coach Grant Harvey just say a minute ago, Adam? We need to convert on this power play, and they did. Uh, they need to play smart hockey and get a few more of those. Play aggressive. They can't play defense for the rest of the third period. And there's that physical hockey that we're looking for as a man is put up against the boards. UTEP dumps the puck inside the Lobo zone. Mackenzie Smith trying to play it for the Lobos. Bad pass, and it gets taken over by UTEP. UTEP with a bad whiff, and it gets taken away. Here comes Jack Kelly. Jack Kelly with a lot of speed. He's got a bit of a two on one. He's going to take a shot that goes off with leg. Oh, 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 oh. Robo! Oh my gosh, Adam. I, I thought we were the Mexican League for a second there. Jack Kelly put it in the back of the net. And the roof has blown off of the outpost. 18 from 8. Jack Kelly assisted by Nate Tagliagami. We are knotted up, six to six. 10-19 remains a period number three. If you're not entertained, I don't know what to tell you. Get on down here to outpost. Face off one by the Miners. And we're gonna have a play stoppage here. So it looks like, oh, and it looks like UTEP is gonna go to the penalty box. So a power play opportunity for the Lobos, but Chance Shanks also going to the box as well. So we're going to have some four on four hockey, it looks like, with a lot of speed. So we'll have a four on four with 10 11 left to go in the third period. All knotted up at six. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, we are between both penalty boxes, so you're going to you're hear, gonna hear some, some noise. Face off one by the Miners. They'll have it at the center ice. <laughs> Two highly used penalty boxes at the moment. Still fighting for possession. Can they pull off the victory? Let's hear it for your Lobos. UTEP now has the puck. They'll take a shot and it goes behind the net. Rebounded by the Miners. Looking to set something up. Miners now have it. They have it behind the Lobo net. Still back and forth. Shot taken. Covered up by Nathan Russell. And good job by Nathan Russell to cover it up. 9.43 left to go here in the third period, all knotted up at six. Remember, to start this period, the Lobos were down by three. They clawed their way back. And it looks like they're gonna get somebody here for a penalty. So it looks like somebody's getting a penalty for the Lobos. It looks like Tyler Lovett, five minutes game misconduct for spearing. Wow. He is gone. Tyler Lovett of New Mexico is done. Love it, it's being sent off the ice. So Isaac Dunwoody will serve the penalty for New Mexico. So five minute DQ, oh man, that is gonna be hurtful. Which means he's not gonna be able to play tomorrow. ACH guys. rules, if you are DQ'd, you are done for the next game. So Tyler Lovett is gonna be out and tomorrow night. he's a good enforcer and more of a defender than anything. Uh, I mean, he's definitely plays phenomenal defense and that's a big body to lose. So, Tyler Lovett, five minute game misconduct DQ for spearing. You don't hear that much very much in hockey, Adam. No. So with 9.43 left to go here in the third period, it's all knotted up at six. And UTEP will be on a four on three power play. The last goal. 
Oh, that took some momentum away, so let's uh, let's see if they can pick it up here. We've got, I mean, a minute 31 for four-on-four four hockey. And a five-minute game is contact on top. Face-off won by New Mexico. Mackenzie Smith does a good job of clearing it out, and the Miners will have to reset. So, so it looks like we got some clarification, Adam, and it looks like Tyler Lovett did not get, get DQ'd. Okay. Just a game misconduct. So he should be back tomorrow. That is great news if you're a Lobo fan as Christopher Owens tries to fight this puck away at center ice. Here comes the Miners now inside the Lobo zone looking to set something up. Back and forth, possession of that puck, and the Miners now have it. Uh, he'll take a shot, goes wide above the goalie's head. Rebounded by the UTEP Miners. Miners now have it. They'll center it. Shot taken, and it goes above the goalie's head out of play. And we'll have a faceoff inside the Lobo zone with 8.57 left to go. Do not go anywhere, fans. This is action-packed hockey. Come on. Are you a UTEP or a Lobo fan? Come on. Let's see you fans out there. Period number three. So face off one by the UTEP Miners, looking to set something up. Here comes UTEP. They'll have it at center ice, still taking inside the Lobo zone. And that's Jason Witter. Great job by New Mexico to keep that puck away. Or Carlo the Miners Witter, recover from top of the blue line. Miners now with it, looking to set something up. Sends it over to the right, left wing board. Shot taken, it goes wide in the net, and it'll be recovered by the Miners. Bit of scrambling there from the Lobos as they try to fight, fight this one off. Miners now have the puck on the left wing, looking to set something up. Good defense there by Mackenzie Smith. Backhanded shot by the Miners, goes wide of the net, and Chance Shanks comes back on the ice for New Mexico. At the perfect time, and a great pass across the ice to Mackenzie Smith as he waits for some help from a teammate. Mackenzie Smith hits the ice as no call was called, and the Lobos will dump the puck inside the UTEP zone. It's gonna be sent around the left. Chan Shanks right in his face, stolen away by Ronquillo. Ronquillo sends it a mile away, right into the belly of the Utah. You gotta be careful with Jared Ronquillo when he does that. He almost made one last time, Adam. Remember, it was a center ice, almost made that from. I mean, again. he's got a slap shot and a half. Here come the Miners inside the Lobo zone. Shot on the left wing board, goes wide of the net, rebounded by the Miners. Miners now have it on top of the blue line, looking to set something up. Great defense by Jared Ronquillo, and he just dumps it inside the UTEP zone. They'll send it up, and UTEP able to pick this up. That's number 19, Jonathan Senka, with the puck, and sends it out center ice, up to number 20. Here come the Miners now. They'll have the puck at center ice. Senka Miners sends it over to 21. Sends it into the Lobo zone. Shot taken by the Miners. Good defense by New Mexico. A.J. Goff making sure that that puck did not find its way to the net. Lo Miners now on top, Miners top of the blue line. with a trip there. Miners now have the puck. They'll take a shot, loose puck in front of the net, and they're still fighting for it, and it's recovered by New Mexico. They clear it out just a little bit, just enough time to reset. Miners now have it on the left wing board. Another shot taken, and it's wide of the net. Here comes Nate Tagligami, a great speed skater for New Mexico. Unable to handle it, it goes back into the left wing boards. Yusef will be able to pick this one up and say, get, take it out to center ice. Joe Dronquillo played a bit aggressive, not able to get the puck away as Yusef moves it forward. 6.26 remaining here at Outpost. Lobos trail, 6-7. After a complete outburst of offense, stifled for the last minute or two. Don't forget, if you guys want to keep up with all the Lobo Hockey news, make sure you go to facebook.com forward slash the Lobo Hockey Networks, and you will keep up with us all season long as we show you guys live content, interviews, and, of course, new merchandise when it is available. Lobo Hockey Network brought to you by the ABQ Sports Crew. So we want to thank you guys for tuning in here. Miners win the faceoff. And they'll have the puck in front of the net. Loose puck recovered by the Miners. Another shot taken. Pass saved by Russell. And Nate Tangligami will do a good job of clearing it out. 125 left to go in the Miner power play. Miners dump the puck inside the Lobo zone. Ben Hot will play it for New Mexico. Jared Ronquillo. Trying to clear it out, but the Miners were waiting for it on top of the blue line. Great defense so far during this yeah. shorthanded affair so far, and they're able to clear it out. One minute now, one minute left to go in the uh, power play for the UTEP Miners. 5.43 left to go in the game. 
And Lobos wanting an icing call and nothing called, but the Lobos get the puck. Still fighting for that puck behind the Lobo net. Jared Ronquillo fighting off two defenders. UTEP takes over possession of the puck. Here they come. They have it on the left wing board. Trying to center it, and it gets deflected away. Rebounded by the Miners. Still have possession of the puck. Are the Miners on that right wing board? 26 seconds left to go in the Miner power play. 5.06 left to go in the game. Miners, top of the blue line. Trying to center it. Deflected away by New Mexico. Miners now have it on the left wing board. Plays it behind the net. Miners now on the right wing, and we're going to have a play stoppage here. So with 4.55 remaining in period number three, Lobos trail at 6-7 to seven and almost able to kill this power play. 13 the, seconds remain. The net was knocked off, so that's a play stoppage, and we'll have a faceoff in the Lobo zone. Faceoff will be inside the Lobo zone, taken by Nate Tagligami, won by the Lobos. Lobos doing a good job of trying to clear that puck out. Big hit by New Mexico's Graham Chison, sending a message saying that the Lobos will not give up. Here comes Ben Hopp, doing a good job sending it to Graham Chison. Chison has two defenders in his face, can't quite handle it. He's going to try to chase it down, though, to get some offense going for the Lobos, and they are back at full strength. Jack Kelly with the goal earlier has it. Oh, oh bad pass. Six by Mackenzie Smith. Lobos with the puck, get it stolen away, and they're clear, it's cleared out. Mackenzie Smith waiting for it, and he'll send it over to Nate Tagligami. Nate Tagligami with the puck. and Another just, bad pass. Adam. Yeah, miscommunication there, but Christopher Owens with the puck, able to notice the defender in his place, turns it over to UTEP. Still four minutes remaining. Lobos trail by one. Miners dump the puck inside the Lobos zone. Mackenzie Smith will wait for it. Trying to set something up. Here comes New Mexico. Mackenzie Smith with it. Mackenzie Smith playing quick. And the Miners take the puck away. Here they come. Miners on the left wing. Try to take a shot. Good defense by Christopher Owens as it hit his pads and gets deflected away. A.J. Goff now playing it for New Mexico. And who else would you want to have right now except for Mr. Onkyo with all that speed? Lobos doing a good job of clearing the puck out to center ice. Miners waiting for it. And they'll dump it right back inside the Lobo zone. Mackenzie Smith now with it for New Mexico. Gets it taken away by the Miners. Miners <clears throat> looking to set something up here. And it's back and forth as they'll set now top of the blue line. Slap shot taken from top of the blue line. Loose puck in front of the net. Great diving save by New Mexico. And there's a loose puck in front of the net. And it's going to be called dead there. 3.05 left to go in the third period. Good job by Mackenzie Smith to dive right in front of the goaltender. And the puck went underneath his pads, and it's a play stoppage. Uh, that's huge. That's absolutely huge because that was a loose puck and a precarious situation in front of the net. Good job laying out and sacrificing your body to protect this score. Lobos trail by one, but they are not dead in the water. 3.05 remains in period number three as Lobos fight their way back into this one. You got to think probably about the one minute mark. Grant Harvey's got to pull Nathan Russell for the Lobos to get that extra attacker. But right now, they just need to focus on getting that puck out of their zone. Another slap shot taken by the Miners, and it's cleared out. Still fighting for puck possession here as the puck goes back and forth. Miners looking to set something up. They have it behind the Lobo net. Big hit by the Lobos as the puck comes loose, but the Miners recover. They'll have it on top of the blue line. Crowd getting into it. Pat saved by Nathan Russell as a shot was taken by the Miners. Miners having control of this puck right now. We're almost at the two minute mark as the Lobos finally able to get some offense going. He's able to hold on to the puck. That's Chan Shanks in the left wing boards. Has a lot of defenders in his face. Now it's, it's getting to the point to be now or never. 2-12 remaining in period number three. Lobos trail by one. Ben, ben Hop. Hop. Oh, sorry, Adam, cut you off there. Ben Hop uh, sends it over to the left. It's center ice. UTEP steals it away. Nate Tagligami trying to fight it down. They've got two men in his face. Tagligami chases him into left wing boards. And the puck is sent out of play and almost hits the coach of UTEP. Two minutes left to go. Adam, you got to think, 
Coach Grant Harvey here in the next about 30 seconds or so. It's got to pull Nathan Russell. Timeout by New Mexico. He might be planning on what he's going to do here. You got to think he's probably going to give it about 55 more seconds to see if they can get a few shooting opportunities. They have to get into the UTEP zone at very minimum. And at that point, Nathan Russell comes off the ice and you get some six on five hockey. Don't forget to join us tomorrow night, fans. It's game two between the Lobos and the Miners as this heated rivalry gets more intense. And we'll see how that goes tomorrow night. But right now, we got to finish period number three here with under two minutes to go. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on our YouTube page. We'll make sure you guys follow along all season long. Next week, the Lobos are on the road as they'll face Grand Canyon University. And then in, in, on November 16th and 17th, back here at home against the Air Force Academy for Military Appreciation Weekend, we'll have our uh, print shop, Darko print shop out here, printing military t-shirts and a discount for all you military. Remember, November is Military Appreciation Month, salute to service. So we wanna thank all of you that are military. If you're military out there and you're watching this, say hello, we wanna recognize you for all your great work. Thank you to the military for serving this beautiful country and letting these Lobos play hockey. It's right now, man. Let me Minute 55, it's do or die time. Seven to six, the Lobos trail. Faceoff will be outside the UTEP zone. Won by the Miners. It's getting extremely physical out there as the Lobos try to fight away, but UTEP's still in possession. They're happy to kill as much time as possible. Miners now have the puck on the right wing. 142 left to go. Miners behind the Lobo net, looking to set something up. Lobo's defense all over that puck, and Jared Ronquillo comes away with it. Great pass there over into the left wing. Nathan That's Russell is pulled. Extra attack for the Mason. Oh! Put it in the back of the net, Jared Ronquillo! Number four! That's some Duke City dynamite out of Jared Ronquillo as he finds the back of the net once again. 125 left to go in this game. We're all knotted up. Woo! Adam, I'm gonna need some water or something. My voice is gone. 17, 22, 95. Graham Tyson. Jared Ronquillo confirmed with his fifth goal of the night. Four. 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 <laughs> Grant Tyson with count. the assist for New Mexico. With Let's see what the last minute 25 holds, though. They can't give up. I mean, this talk about evenly matched teams. 7-7, seven, seven, 125 remaining in period number three at Outpost Arena. They tag the Igami. The Lobos trying to get this crowd pumped up. 122 left to go. Here comes Nate Tagliagami. Nate Tagliagami, from the blue line, shot taken, goes wider than it, rebounded by the Miners. Puck stolen away by New Mexico's Jared Ronquillo. Raquel trying to take a shot. It's a pass save by the Miners. Oh, man. Still looking there for loose puck in front of the net. Rebounded by New Mexico. Oh, man, that was a great opportunity for UTEP. One minute left to go in this game. Shot taken by the Miners, going wide of the net. Excuse the language there, as Grant Harvey uh, said a word not appropriate for kids under 17. Still fighting for that puck. 32 seconds left to go in this game. Here comes the Lobos, Ben Hop, take it into the UTEP zone. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go, Miners now take away the puck. They'll have it inside the Lobo zone. Shot taken wide of the net, 15 seconds to go. Oh, Chad Shanks had a great opportunity to steal that puck. Recovered by the Miners. It gets deflected away. Nate Tagligami sends it up. Yeah! And with three seconds left to go, Chad Shanks with one second. He needs to shoot. And it's all, oh, man, at the buzzer. This game is going to overtime. So we're headed to overtime, seven to seven. Make sure you don't go anywhere, fans. So how overtime works, five minutes will be put on the board. First team to score wins. At the end of five minutes, if no teams have scored, this game will end in a tie. 
but there is no shootouts in college hockey. Oh man, you're not going to want to go anywhere, folks. This game is getting intense. Oh man, this game is getting so intense right now. Bear with us as we get the feed back up. We'll have it in back it up in time, don't worry. Like I said, they're giving them about a minute break here to get everything set up. Five minutes will be put on the clock. First team to score wins. If the clock, no team has scoring at the end of five minutes, it will end in a tie. Both of these teams have a tie on their record and they would not like to see that number go to number two. Lobo fans, get ready as this is going to be an action-packed overtime. Game planning, what they're going to do, New Mexico as well. Thank you again for tuning into the Lobo Hockey Network. It is you, the fans, that make this possible. Thank you for supporting us and bearing with us all season long. You guys are the real Lobo Hockey Network. So the goalies will switch sides. Five minutes has been put on the clock. Overtime should be four on four hockey. Miners have another skater on the ice. They're getting some clarification. I don't know if the, the rules are different where UTEP, the league that UTEP plays in, but here in the ACHA, it should be four on four in overtime. So they're gonna- Kelly, it's absolutely not five. Kelly, it's not five. Kelly, it's not five. Adam getting a great exercise there as he went to go change the cat. I don't know if you battery. guys can see that at a home, but uh, yeah, we were about to lose battery. That's why I went black for a minute. That's running across the stadium. So I'm glad that keto diet's working for you, yeah, man. I mean, we're, we're burning Gotta some work on that cardio, cardio, though. Maybe you should be out here skating with these guys. I mean, I can't criticize these guys anymore. Yes, they are good. UTEP is arguing that it should be five on five in overtime, but Grant Harvey went over there and said it's four on four hockey in overtime. He talked to the commissioner of the league and told them that's four on four. So it will be four on four. So fast paced, action packed, overtime hockey coming your way, Lobo fans. All right. All right, we are headed into overtime. Five minutes on the clock, knotted up at seven here at Outpost. And they sunk away. Face off, one by the Miners. Miners taking on the left wing, looking for a shooting opportunity. Shot taken and it goes wide of the net. And this is sudden death here. As the UTEP Miners have the puck, takes a shot and a pad save by Nathan. Oh man, if your stomach's not in knots right now, you're not a hockey fan. I mean, what a comeback by the Lobos. You gotta give your hats off regardless of the outcome to them. But we want to win here at Outpost. Still fighting for the puck. Pad save by Nathan Russell. Another save by Nathan Russell. And they've got to get it out of there. Another shot taken by Nathan Russell. It's covered up. Great pad save by Nate Russell. And Russell whoo, doing more than his fair share out there, covering up four big shots in a row. 4-10 left to go in overtime. 7-7, seven, seven, all knotted up. First team to score wins. At the end of the four minutes, remember, if no one has scored, it ends in a tie. So face off. Face off one by New Mexico. Here comes Chad Shakes. Chad Shakes comes streaking up the right side. He has the puck on the right wing board. He sends it over. Loose puck in front of the net. Oh, man. Jack Kelly almost had an opportunity. 
Do not catch your. Oh man, if you have heart problems, maybe you shouldn't be watching right I now. I just ran across the stadium, and now I gotta watch level of overtime oh, hockey. <laughs> this is not what the dogs are. But I'm loving every second of it. And you are too at home, I'm sure. But you gotta try to make it out here to Outpost Arena and support your Lobos. Chan Shanks will take the face off for New Mexico inside the UTEP zone, as well as number 17, Matthew Senka. Face off won by the Miners. They have the puck now. They'll put it in play in front of their net. Looking to set something up. Here comes the Miners. They'll have it at center ice. Keep in mind, we do not go to a shootout with new ACHA rules. So it's really do or die right now if you don't want to tie. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. UTEP holds on to the puck. It is deflected there by the Lobos as Ben Hop tries to come away with it. UTEP able to hold on to it, sends it into the right wing boards. Back behind the net is Hop. Lobos try to chase it down on the left side. Let's go, Lobos. Let's go, Lobos. And it's back behind the net. A big Great shot. Great a save by Nathan Russell. Give it to the kid playing for uh, James Boston because Boston had his skates damaged. So Nathan Russell steps in and he's done it in a huge way. Yes, he's let seven in, but he's also stopped 34 shots tonight. Let's go, man! 3.16 left to go in overtime. Faceoff will be inside the Lobo zone. Lobos come away with the puck, send it back behind their own net. Mackenzie Smith with a defender in his face pushed up against the boards, able to get it to a teammate, and they're going to be able to clear out of their own territory. Here and comes the sections coming alive. Here comes Jared Ronquillo. He's got the goals here tonight. Goes in front of the net, loose puck, and it gets taken away by the Miners. Good hit by New Mexico as the puck comes loose, but the Miners recover. Utah pin two on three, trying to advance at number 21. And, and an offside size call. Hey, the shot was taken after the whistle. There should have been a penalty. And the offsides call against UTEP. And with 2.47 left to go in overtime, it's all knotted up at seven. Remember, first team to score wins. And if not, no score, then it will end in a tie. Nobody wants to see that. Come on, Lobos, put it in the back of the net. Lobos, with, I mean, a comeback for the ages here tonight. Keep in mind, Lobos were down six to three in the third period. And we are now 7-7 seven, seven in Technically the fourth, we're in overtime. 2.47 remains as the Lobos try to come away with a W at home. And UTEP calls a timeout. They look to set something up here. Adam, as if you're Coach Grant Harvey, what are you telling your team right now? Get the puck to Ron Keo. He's on fire tonight and nobody can stick with him. He's played lights out, he's come in clutch. And you want to talk about a clutch player in situations like this? Him or Nate Tagliagami. One of those two, well find the back of the net if you can put him in the right situation. Oh man, so. If, if this was just game one, just imagine what game two is going to be tomorrow night. Make sure you come down here to the Outpost Arena. But if you can't, make sure you join us right here on the Lobo Hockey Network. Man, what a first game for us back in the studio as we are now produced by ABQ Sports Crew. And it's a great game to start off, Adam. And make sure you go and check out ABQ Sports Crew. Josh and I have a lot of fun on that ch a channel. We talk global hockey. We talk just about all sports, a lot of content, a whole lot of NFL. Give a subscribe. Give them a like. We'd appreciate it. Uh, in the meantime, it's all about Lobo Hockey tonight, and we are having a blast. 247 remains on the clock, all knotted up at 7 as we go out to the puck drop. Faceoff will be just outside the Lobo zone. One by New Mexico. Chison gets the puck out and it's cleared out. Here comes Nate Tagliagami, and the puck goes into the UTIP zone, recovered by the Miners. Here comes the Miners now. They'll have the puck at center ice. As UTEP looks to set up a shot, they try to center it. That's worked for them earlier in this game. Over to the right, calling for the puck on the right-hand boards, but it is thrown away by the Lobos. Sent back up top to a uh, UTEP Miner. Miner still with it, trying to set something up. And a mishandled puck goes out to the center ice. Man, Lobos a little out of breath as they couldn't keep up there as Miners now have the puck inside their zone. They'll set it up to on top of the blue line in their zone. Good job by Mackenzie Smith as he almost got the puck Stolen away. Two minutes now left to go in, the, in overtime. And here comes UTEP looking for a scoring opportunity. They're over on their left wing boards. They got to watch that center. They like to center it up and take the high shot. He fakes the pass. 21 holds on to the puck. Almost goes out of a level territory, but keeps it past the blue line. 
sends it over against the wall. UTEP holds on to it. They're just looking to try to be the final ones with the puck here and set up a scoring opportunity. They take a slap shot, a great defense. Great, uh, great block there by Nathan. As Russell's played lights out, and Lobos tried to mount some offense of their own. Here comes the attack, Ligami. They'll have it inside the UTEP zone on the right wing board. Makes a move, oh, loose puck went behind the net. Rebounded by New Mexico. Natang Leontgami trying to fight off a UTEP minor. Jared Ronquillo now has the puck, looking to set something up. On the right wing board, one minute left to go in overtime. UTEP comes away with the puck. UTEP with the puck over on the right wing, looking to set something up. He's gonna put it back up number seven. He's dangerous. Watch him with the puck. He's looking to set up a scoring opportunity, but sold away by the Lobos. Lobos hustling to try Here to get the Here comes Nate He's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Makes a move, goes on the right wing. Tries to take a shot, and it's a pass saved by the Miners. 34 seconds to go. And the Utah Miners looking to try to end it. And a save and a freeze by Nathan, Nathan Russell. Russell. Woo! Kid is playing lights out. He lay in the game. 23 seconds remaining. Tied up a seven. Stop at 24 seconds. Your levels are playing your heart now. Let me hear you, fans. Let's go, Levels. Coach is yelling for a timeout out there on the ice. They're trying to get some clarification. They're not giving it to him. Yeah, if you pick up any of those words. So Coach, uh, Coach Grant demanding a timeout, not given to him. And the crowd let him here at 19 seconds remaining as the time ticks down. Lobos with the puck, trying to avoid the tie, trying to come away with the win. As it's sold away by UTEP. UTEP might have a shooting opportunity here late. Good defense there by the Lobos as it's smacked away. UTEP holds on to it, almost able to find the back of the neck. Dangerous play there. Two as seconds. it sets up top. Oh no! They, the, right no, they, the they went no, it off! They went it off! No goal for no UTEP! Tail. No goal for UTEP! And it's a tie game! There's, hold on, there, there's some clarification, hold on. Okay, three I'm seconds. Looking. Three seconds up on the clock. They're putting three seconds on the clock. Are they counting the goal? No, no goal is counted. It was a penalty call down. We need some clarification. This is an absolute fiasco here late in the game. An officiating fiasco. Three seconds was put on the clock. There was no clarification on what happened. Some kind of a play stoppage before the shot was, was taken. Even, yes. We definitely heard a whistle before the slap shot hit. So here we go. Three seconds left to go. UTEP pulls their goalie. So they'll have an extra attacker. Jaron Ronquillo will take the face off for New well, Mexico. You gotta figure it's the best case scenario would be a tie here for the Lobos. Austin Simpson for the Miners. Face off one by New Mexico, loose puck, and it's covered up with .8 seconds to go. Well, all reason says that it looks like we're gonna have a tie here at Outpost tonight, which makes tomorrow all the more heated. Hats off to the Lobos, coming from 6-3 deficit to tie it up. .8 seconds. I'm sorry, but they are no Derek Fisher. There is no getting a buzzer beater here tonight. Just by a face off win. And that will do it. So at the end of the game in overtime, that will do it. New, hey, consider that a win for New Mexico, especially against this high-powered yeah, offensive high -powered team. High-powered offense, and they were down 6-3. to three. What a comeback by the New Mexico Lobos. And this, I mean, it's still chippy out there on the ice, yelling at each other. There's no love lost between these two teams. This has been fun. We'll see you guys back out here tomorrow night. Josh, what, what, what's on your mind? What are you thinking? Because Coach Grant Harvey has given him a piece of his mind. He was very unhappy at him. He was trying to call timeout.
with about 32 seconds left to go in the game. They would not give it to him. But hey, give it all. Hats off to the Lobos. The Miners coming into Albuquerque 8 1 and 1. And this was a very high powered offensive team, and the Lobos kept up with them. Great job by New Mexico. I can't wait to see what tomorrow night's going to hold. So, you guys are not going to want to miss it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on our YouTube page. That way, you don't miss it. 8 p.m. But if you want to come down to the outpost, tickets just six bucks, three dollars if you're a UNM student. For me and Josh, this has been the Lobo Hockey Network, brought to you by ABQ Sports Crew. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Make sure you head to our Facebook page. Give us a like at the Lobo Hockey Network. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good night, everybody.